guys, it's your girl Natalie, the One True Diamond, coming at you with Thursday morning chit chat. Okay, my little grandbaby can do that. I can't do it. She can. I said, You are too grown and you need to stop. Okay, just too grown. <laughs> anyway, it's Thursday morning on my way to work as usual. Y'all know when y'all see the Grim Reaper and all the black. I'm on my way to work, okay? But I thank God I got a job to go to. <laughs> I always want to be thankful in all things, okay? And if y'all, if somebody would see my job, they probably would say, Miss Natalie, come here. I would go over there, and they would slap the spit out of me because they'll be like, if you complain one more day about this job, <laughs> one just one more time about having to go to work, you better go to work and appreciate what you got. Sit down somewhere and shut it up, okay? <laughs> That's how I don't want to say easy because it's not hard physical manual labor, okay? It's using your brain, your thinking, you're analyzing, you're assessing, <laughs> you're figuring it out. And sometimes those jobs there can be stressful as well. Sometimes you have interviewed so many people and drug so much information out of them because people don't freely give you what you need. Like you will ask them and they'll be like, no, no. And a little ways down the way when you get questioning and digging down into the problem, you find out, yes, you did. You are anemic. Doctor just said my blood was low. <laughs> You are anemic. <laughs> and even sometimes, now I know some people don't understand medical terms. I so don't think I'm trying to make people sound like they're stupid. But I'll say, um, has the doctor ever told you that you were anemic or your iron level is low? Low blood? I, I mean, I go through all that and they'll be like, mm-mm. Then a little ways down the road, you'll get it out of them. Then you got to go all the way back to that screen put it in and remember it in your head to go back because a lot of times I'll have me a little notepad beside and I'll write stuff down because I know that people just are not going to do right people are going to people are going to forever cut my back one on people are going to forever just I don't know if it's that they I don't know. Some people really do not know medical terms, and I understand that. But some people don't know anything about their health. And it's like, oh my God, you've been living this life, and you don't know about your health. And yes, sometimes we forget things if it's older, but sometimes they don't even know what's going on with them in the moment or why they're even there to get surgery. It was like, I don't know why I'm here. I don't know, why. I don't know what the doctor said. You know, either the doctor did not do a good job of explaining, and sometimes that's true because some doctors don't have good bedside manners. You know, and I don't expect them to know the name of the procedure that they are actually having because they are big words. I can't even pronounce the words. I'm gonna be let's be honest here. But do you know if it's your gallbladder? Is it your toe? Is it your knee? Or are you having it replaced? Is it your shoulder? Is it shoulder surgery? Is it your head? I want to know the roundabout part of the body you are having that you signed this consent for. And sometimes I feel so bad, like especially if I do a phone call, I haven't seen the people. I'm just talking to them on the phone, interviewing. I'd be so sad sometimes getting off the phone because I'm like, they are not going to get it. And if there is nobody there to help them the morning of surgery, they are not going to get it. You just know they're not. And I'm like, I just feel sorry for people like that because I feel like they need someone. And I don't feel like, you no, know, don't take their independence away, but they need someone to kind of guide them so that for important things like this, that they don't mess up or they don't take their blood thinners or um, take a diuretic that they shouldn't take the morning of surgery and then they get all the way here surgery's cancel or if they don't eat anything after midnight you know you want to make sure they know that what midnight is because sometimes when I say midnight before your surgery they'll be like what you mean like if their surgery's on Thursday I mean Wednesday no Thursday morning midnight you know because some people don't have the concept that 12 o'clock midnight starts a new 
day. So, you know, it's all kind of things you run into. So those are the things that are stressful, but I love every moment about my job, even though I complain, because I like to interact, I like to talk with people. So, yeah, and there's always laughter coming out of my room, and they're like, what are y'all doing, I swear? People come out laughing because, you know, it's already a stressful time. They're going for surgery, and they need someone to relieve the tension, you know? They really do. Some people, they'll bring to me and say, mm, they're going to be angry, they're mad, they're upset, they're blah, 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 blah. But when the time they leave out my room, they're laughing, and they're all, they're like, thank you, man, we appreciate everything. You know, they would be like, well, what did you do? Just talk to them. <laughs> just, just smile. Share the smile with them. That's all. But anyway, um, yeah, so I just feel like, you know, we need to count our blessings. I know I joke about I'm on the way to work. Or, yeah, yeah, I'm looking for retirement. Believe me, when my 30 years are in, <laughs> I'm going to say, well done. can come on home. <laughs> yes, I'm coming on home. I ain't sitting to no job. I'm not going to be contemplating about well, God, I, I don't want to retire. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to find something to do in retirement, okay? That's why I got to get my hustle game on strong and get some of my bills paid off. I want to be debt free. By the time I retire, because I got 15 more years, I only financed my house for 15 years. So, yeah, taking a big chunk right now, but guess what? That's okay. That's okay. Hopefully, I get it paid off before 15 years because I'm trying to come up with some type of a game plan to pay off early. That's my game plan. So, yeah, so um, do what you got to do. Because in my head, I was like, yeah, a 30-year mortgage, I could go ahead on and try to do that. And, um, you know, my payments would be way cheap. And But I'd rather, mm -mm, give me 15, double them, double them up, double them up, double them up. Yes, double them up and come on, because I don't want this on me. When I get 65, I don't want to be to the point of where I'm saying, I still got to work. Well, you know, I still might have to work till Social Security time 67, something like that, 60. Why did you get Social Security now? If there is any Social Security, okay? But, see, I'll still have a pension because my job has a pension. I have a pension, and I'll have, like, whatever I have saved up in my 401K, and um, I'll be living off of that until Social Security comes, or I'll work until I can get pension and Social Security and the 401K all of that combined so yeah but i don't want to be to the point of where i gotta be like i gotta still work because i can't stop working because i have all these things that i still have to pay off so my plans is to not get into that situation because when it comes time to stop i want to be able to stop and i want to be able to live my life out with my enjoy grandkids, I want to be able to, when I want to go somewhere, I can, me and Derek, we can pick up and we can go somewhere. I don't want to have to be worried or stressed about, you know, well, we can't go anywhere because we don't have the money. I don't want it to be like that. So I got to start putting some bank up so I can have money stacked up, stacked up, okay? So I got to get another game, another hustle on. And I say hustle because I say side hustle because it's not my main job, okay? I need a side hustle. So, yeah, um, I was listening to Couponing with Greg, that dude's um, Periscope yesterday morning, and he was just talking about these things. I'm like, yeah, he's right. I got to get back refocused. I got to refocus. You know, I was talking about debt-free one time before, still talking about it. But then again, you know, I have charged more on my charge cards, and I'm like, oh, God, here we go. So, yeah, I need that that out so what I need to do is I'm trying to pay every, these cards off and not charge again is what I'm trying to do and stay debt free if I don't have the monies or the cash on hand then guess what no charging so I that's my plan so okay keep one flowing for like gas and 
groceries and then you know that's my plan you put it you only charge enough that you're going to be able to pay off you know before the due date or on the due date you don't want to go past the due date okay so paying it off before is even more um favorable than waiting for your due date it just shows that you are it will show um that you are willing to pay your bills off you pay them off on time you pay them off before time and that just reflects positively on your credit score now my credit did take a big hit when i bought my house you would think that it would not i would say okay my credit is good enough i can buy a house and blah blah, blah. but it just takes a big hit and you know at first i was stressing out about I'm like why, why did it go down why did it go down you know I'm like, why did it go down after this you know so but i was talking to someone who works in like credit and things like that so they know she knows and she told me don't worry about it that just keep doing what i'm doing try to pay off all my little small credit cards and things pay them all off that i was should i was expected to go down because when i bought a house that i took a big hit from buying the house and you know and i appreciate her telling me those things because she didn't have to tell me those things i only know her from the youtube and instagram world but we've been i've been knowing her we've been knowing let's say um whatever, social media knowing each other we never met each other just socially media knowing one another so yeah um and yeah so i appreciate that help it helped me to kind of get focused and rethink um what i need to do and i'm just staying calm about it not stressing about it just you know pay 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 and that's what i'm doing and you know knocking off um as i go i wasn't even gonna talk about that this morning let's go talk about something else <laughs> y'all see how i run my mouth so much I ran on up on another conversation because really truly that was not my conversation I will tell y'all this maybe my conversation or what I want to talk about y'all know mostly my talks have to be in the car because that's when I'm basically free to talk because I got an hour drive so that's why you always see me in the same spot not doing anything different or anything like that so when they made a comment a comment on my video one time about um there's nothing that I can comment or say about because you're doing the same thing and you're just talking. Yeah, <laughs> I am because I'm in the car. I'm driving. What can I do while I'm driving? But this is when I have the most time to talk. And sometimes car vlogs, you get the most honest, sincere because it's off the bat. I'm not looking down at papers. I don't have it all written out. It's just coming out of here. So you're going to get some honesty. <laughs> along with it okay i don't have time to think it or sugarcoat it or make it seem real it's just coming on out okay but anyway i appreciate each and every one of you who have stuck with me who have been here who even welcomed me back and i appreciate i appreciate y'all because i have been trying to make videos i've been making them all week and never posting them and yesterday I realized why I hadn't been posting the doggone videos because every time I go to post it it says um posting interrupted I'm like what in the crap what's going on why is it I didn't have it on um it wasn't on airplane mode it wasn't on any of that and I couldn't figure it out, but there was a new update, and I updated it yesterday. And then when I tried to go back and um, download, it did go down. So y'all were able to get my video yesterday, and I appreciate y'all comments. I hate this new iOS 11 point, whatever it is. Whatever that new, I, whatever that new upgrade was for Apple, it totally ruined my phone. It buzzes with this loud vibrating buzz and it I can't stand it oh I can't stand it but anyway I just don't like this new update I don't like the way the stuff even looks in the programs now I just I don't like it you hear me Apple I don't like it oh, that's the end of ramp okay anyway you guys y'all give God some praise give me some thanks for waking up this morning starting you on your way giving you another chance to get it right it's always a blessing to get it right see you in my next video bye now